Today's review comes from Vocation, and this is their Citra Five Ways. This is an IPA using Citra hops, but not just one type of hop, five different Citra hops. So this is gonna be a real Citra bomb. Let's see what it's like. Keep on watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to be reviewing this beer. This is from Vocation and it is their Citra Five Ways. Now, this is a Citra IPA and we've had Citra IPA, but the, the, the different thing with this beer is that it's got five different hops, type of Citra hops. So we have Ignogni Ignog Incognito, uh, T90 Pellets, BBC Pellets, Spectrum and Lupo Max. So I'm expecting citra sort of ipa but ramped up this is going to be a real big fruity tropical beer well certainly that's what you'd expect seven percent so it's at the high end for an ipa let's crack this open and put it in a glass see what it's all about yeah i mean i still think back to the buxton brewery citra ipa that's available in tesco um i think it's a really great a great citra ipa um but and that's what makes you think that this one could be just something a little bit spectacular, but it could be a bit over the top with Citra. Again, um, Citra is one of those sort of hops that does work well on its own, um, but you wonder whether with all the different types, what we're going to get. Well, what we get in the glass is a sort of very sort of, I say orangey, but it's a bit lighter to me than it is in a camera. It's a sort of golden orange, two fingers, very compacted, just a little bit off white head. Looks pretty good though, and already I'm getting those big sort of tropical aromas. But let's get let's get close and see what it's all about. Yeah, it's got that very distinct citrus, sort of big citrus fruits, and also tropicals like your mango, papaya, a bit of passion fruit as well. It smells really good. It's got a real juicy sort of aroma to it. And it's, you know, it, what it does is what you want with an aroma. It wants to make you drink it. So let's tuck in. Cheers, everyone. You can taste there's a lot of hops in there. To the point where you get a little bit of hop burn. It's very, very citrusy very citrusy you've got and you get oranges lemons limes a bit of grapefruit in there as well in terms of the tropical notes i don't think you're really getting a huge amount of tropical sort of flavors to me it tastes like a very very hop forward citra beer with those with big citrus fruits. I mean, there's not much else I can say about it. Mouthfeel is soft, as you'd expect from an IPA. The carbonation is fairly low. Um, it's it's really, you know there's a lot of hops going into this. Even if I didn't know there was five different citrus hops, I'd be going, oh, there's a big blend of hops there. You can, you're getting that slight hop burn on the back end. There's no bitterness. It's a bit of grapefruity flavor, but what you're getting on the back end is this sort of little bit of warmth. And I don't think it's from the alcohol. I think it's from just the amount of hops. It's a massive hop forward beer. If you don't like Citra, you won't like it. I mean, it's that simple. But if you do like Citra, I mean, it's almost at that point where it's it's close to a double double IPA. It's just got so many, so many hops that are all working together. What those different hops bring, I, I, I don't really know. I think, you know, obviously they're going to release the flavours and, and the more citra hops. And I mean, why would you use, say, Incognito instead of T90 Pellets or the Spectrum, which is a new sort of liquidy sort of one? I think you get more of that flavour. For me, sometimes you can get a Citra IPA and it, you get a little bit more tropical. It's a bit lighter. With this one, it's almost very lemon zest. It's 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 lemon peel. It's lime. It's lime peel. It's the sort of, it's the pliffy part of it as well. 
you're getting all kinds of sort of elements of those sort of citrus fruit flavors where normally you may get like the, the lemon and lime sort of flavor, but here you're getting different sort of layers of those sort of citrus fruits. I think that the grapefruit side though is, um, is held back a little bit. There's not much in terms of the grapefruit but it's very, very citrusy. It's nice and refreshing. 7% is quite high. It's a nice beer. Let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in for Citra Five Ways by Vocation. They're based up in Hebden Bridge in, in Yorkshire. And yeah, 7% and it's got five different Citra hops in it. So it's got the, the Incognito, the T90 pellets, BBC pellets, Spectrum, which is the liquid uh, version and Lupo Max. I'm not quite sure what Lupo Max is, but this is a very hop forward beer and it's got lots of citrus and obviously citra notes. For me, it's even more citrusy than your normal sort of citra IPA. But if we go through the scores, first things first is the aroma. Well, there's something about citra, it's a, quite got a distinct sort of um, aroma. So you're getting big hits of lemons, limes, you're getting all the sort of a real strong aroma of those bit of orange in there, orange peel, and, and also a bit, a bit of grapefruit. I don't think, the more I smell it, and you know, and obviously the fact that I've tasted it, I wouldn't say there's huge amounts of tropical sort of notes in there. there there's a little bit of, a little bit of mango, I think, and a little bit of papaya, but and a little bit of passion fruit. But for me, it's all about the citrus sort of aromas that you're getting. It's pleasant, it's, it's strong, it's got a real strong, juicy, sharp, zesty sort of aroma to it. So I'm giving it 13 for aroma. Appearance, well, not much of a head, but it's a lovely orange golden colour. I think it looks pretty good, but it's, uh, you know, there's nothing amazing about it, but at the same time, there's nothing wrong with it. So I'm giving it a, an eight out of 10. Flavour-wise, well, like the, um, the aromas, it's very big hitting on citrus, lemons, lemon peel the real sort of juicy part of the lemon almost like a lemon juice you know the the sort of thing you put in your pancakes that real strong lemon flavor then you get them even more zesty and more sort of sharp with the lime then there's a sort of grapefruit flavor as well which is it's not as strong as some some beers that we've had with a grapefruit sort of uh, flavor but it's it's definitely there just sort of rounds it out but there's also a little bit of hop burn, I think. I think it's almost like there's so much citra pops in it, it's it, it's overpowering a little bit. Um, and, you know, it's not unpleasant, but you just get this sort of, this sort of warmth on the back of the tongue, really, after you've drank it. Like, as I'm sitting here now, I can still feel it. I'm trying to sort of describe it. It's a little bit earthy. It's a little bit, I suppose, like lemongrass, that sort of real sort of grassiness about it. Um, but I, I think that's just because there's so many different hops and there's just, it's really concentrated that, that citra flavor. Uh, mouthfeel, it's pretty soft, low levels of carbonation you expect from any sort of decent IPA. It's good, it's solid. If you like citra, then I think you'll love it. If you don't like citra, you'll hate it. It's, um, there's not many people, I know there's, um, uh, Tom from the crummy beer that can't get on with citra hops because it sort of it gives him a headache. Maybe that's a that's a thing with more people. But um, for me, I do like citra, but I, I I do I do think it pairs well with with other hops as well. Um, and on its own, it's it's very very citrusy. Um, so I'm giving it 34 for flavour. Value for money, well, this can was over, how much was it? I think it was, a, again, all my cans are around about five quid this month. Um, it's 7%. There's lots of different, it's very, there's lots of hops going in. It's very hop forward. Five different hops. Got to respect that. It's a solid 7% IPA. I'm giving it a, you know, a pretty solid 8 out of 10. And then my overall experience. Well, I'm in a bit two minds with this beer. It's really lemony. It's really lemony, and it's and there's this earthiness, and you're getting as it's sort of a little warmed up, you're getting a, a lot more mango that's sort of coming in. It's got all these different flavors that come in. If you, as I say, if you like, I do like citra hops. I mean, it's it's one of those sort of 
very solid sort of hops. I mean, I, I find that Citra is always seems to be paired with with uh, with Mosaic. Um, it, they're the two sort of pairings that you get a lot. But I don't really like Mosaic, especially on its own. But Citra has worked pretty well on its own. But it is a strong Citra flavour, so you know it's very distinctive. But it's all wrapped up in a soft, easy to drink sort of um, beer. It's not. It's not an easy drinking. It's because you're getting this little bit of warmth, and that's that's probably going to knock a few points off for the overall experience. But it's solid, um, and it's worth trying, especially if you like Citra hops, because it's it's very much a great example of what Citra is all about as a hop. So I'm giving it 13 for overall experience. So we top those scores up, and we get a recommended 76. It's a good beer. It's not a great beer, but it's a good beer. As I said, it's a little bit too citrusy, really, for my liking. I mean, I do like that sort of citrusness, but it's almost like it goes too strong. When you, when you think of lemons and limes, don't necessarily think of the fruit. Think of the, the, the rind part of it. Think of that sort of lemon that you, or a fresh lemon that you suck when you've got it in your in your in your in your drink for example or the lemon juice that you put in your pancakes it's that strong and concentrated in terms of the lemon flavor still good though i like it it's worth a try and i and i respect them for doing a, a beer with showing all those different five um citra type five different hops citra hops which i think is great i don't know if there's other hop i mean there are we've seen other beers where you where you've got the the t90 pellets of it or the you know the spectrum version of it so that the, you do get them um but this if you love citra you'll love this because it's all about the citra and it's it's very big on that flavor so i've rattled on enough 76 out of 100 i think that's a good score vocation you know i mean they're they're number one of those sort of solid breweries there's a lot of people out there that love them more uh, than I do. I, I I don't think I've had something by vocation that I was blown away by, but they're up there with with the likes of the, the you know with the likes of someone like Northern Monk because they do do a lot of uh, supermarket beers. But obviously this isn't a supermarket beer. The other non supermarket beers are are better. Um, yeah, very solid, very good beer. So hope you enjoyed that, and until the next one. Keep on rocking.